Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to wherever you are in the different countries or states that you are. This is Gaga Wearing Freak here to give you another fan fiction reading. This is another fan fiction reading from My Little Pony. If you don't like it, then you can just go back and do whatever you want. If you like it, if you like it, then and interested in it, then stay or whatever. Today I am going to be reading Pinkie Pie Divides by Zero. Yes, Pinkie Pie Divides by Zero. This may not end well, or this may end interestingly funny. I've only read this like once, like two years ago, and I don't remember what happened, but something funny or something happened. So it will be a refresher for me to read this again for myself and for you guys who haven't heard of this. The link will be in the description below of who the person is and where I found this fanfiction. I found this once on, I believe, uh, fanfiction or somewhere. The link will be in the description below, like I said. Anyway, Pinkie Pie divides by zero. Um, so here we go. Ah! This doesn't make sense! Twilight Sparkle, star pupil of the regal Princess Celestia, was always known for her intelligence and problem and problem-solving abilities. She had spent many years in Celestia's school for gifted unicorns studying magic, arithmetic, 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 thinking skills, and more. She had, she was always on time with her, with all her work. She always received good grades on her report cards. In the eyes of every pony who, who knows her, she is the perfect student. After Celestia had sent her to Ponyville to watch over, to watch over the summer sun celebration, she had enter, she had encountered, she had encountered five mares along the way. Who would have guessed? Who would have, who would have guessed that those five mares would become the saviors of Equestria after the return of Nightmare Moon? Uh, uh, uh. Twilight sure. Twilight sure as hate, Twilight sure as hate didn't, but it was a benefit. If Celestia had never ordered her to watch over the preparations for the summer sun celebration, she would have never met the greatest friends a mare could ever have. After that day, Celestia assigned her star pupil to learn about the magic of friendship in Ponyville, to which she gladly accepted. I find it a bit corny, but... Eh, whatever makes people happy. Though she never stopped studying and doing other... Other... Man, it's starting to act dumb. Uh, okay, we're back to normal. Other... Though she never stopped studying and doing other curricular work. Her... Oh, wait. Here we find her now particularly pulling her mane out, trying to solve an advanced arithmetic... arithmetic... Uh, keep spelling. Arithmetic... Okay, arithmetic. Advanced... Mm, pulling her mane out to solve an advanced arithmetic prop question. It wasn't in... It wasn't needed. She didn't do this because she had to. She did it because she wanted to. Unfortunately, Twilight had OCD. Called it! I knew it! Um, because of the three things and her doing things with three and whatever. Um, unfortunately, Twilight had OCD. She needed... Unfortunately, Twilight had OCD. She needed to complete this problem or else she wouldn't sleep until it was solved. I think we all have that problem. Sometimes I do. She violently banged her hooves on the on her chalkboard, where the problem was written on. Why can't I get this? She overlooked it one more time. She did everything right, everything by the book. What was wrong? Oh, maybe I can help. Twilight jumped in the air at the sound of the voice. Her head nearly hit the roof of her library home. She fell on the floor. A pink hoof reached out to help her back up. Pinky! I... Pinky! I nearly had a heart attack! The lavender mare said in between short breaths. Pinky chuckled. 
Hang on, I gotta check them out. She chuckled. Sorry, Twilight. I just had to help you with your math problem. Look at you. You're killing yourself over math. Pinky, I appreciate the offer, but I think you can... Oh, I see your problem. What? She shot the pink... <laughs> she shot the pink earth pony a facial expression that was a mixture of shock and confusion. You forgot to divide by zero, silly Twilight. She pat her lavender <laughs> friend on the head. Divide by zero. Twilight fell over laugh. Twilight fell over laughing at Pinky's crazy antics. Pinky, you can't divide by zero. That's mathematically impossible. From what I've known in taking the years of math, it is impossible. But in this world, anything goes. Pinky scoffed. Sister, you're talking to the wrong. Oh, wait. She scoffed. Sister, you're talking to the wrong pony. About impossible. Am I right, Arthur? Am I right, Arthur? The the author nodded in agreement behind his computer screen. Yeah, I'm doing that too. Anywho, you see, Twilight. She grabbed the chalk that was sitting on Twilight's desk. First, you have to take this. This. First, you have to take the area in square inches of the sun, then multiply that by the abdit. Ugh. Let's speak today. Then multiply that by the adjacent angle of the hypotenuse of an <laughs> of an oak of an oak tree. After you get that, take that number and multiply it by the volume of the pon of the Ponyville Lake. Don't forget to carry the two. Once the appropriate factor is acqu is acquired, then divide by zero. You should. Get this! 34x 30, plus, uh, 34x plus, in parentheses, 2034 slash r up, I don't know what that is, 2 parentheses, I'm just gonna probably show it somewhere in the credits or whatever, <laughs> which is, which is equal to potato. <laughs> Pinky slapped on the Pinky slapped on her trademark smile. Twilight stayed silent. The amount of mind blowing silliness that Pinky uttered was just too much. She didn't even know where where to begin. She should she say that Pinky is wrong? Should she say that Pinky is just being Pinky and shrug it off? I would just say possibly or just, I don't know. Before she could start on anything, Pinky had called for Spike. The baby dragon marched quickly to the living room of the library and stood at attention. Uh, Pinky landed, Pinky handed a, Pinky handed a parchment, Pinky handed a, a parchment of all the work she did and told Spike to send it to Celestia. Twilight panicked. Twilight panicked. If her mentor saw the ridiculousness of Twilight of of Pinky's math, she would probably laugh at her. Of course or worse, send her back to Magic Kindergarten. Dramatic flashback. Dramatic flashback. <laughs> She snapped back to reality as she saw the puff of green smoke escape through an open window and headed and heading and wrote and headed a route to Celestia's side. Twilight ran up to Pinky. Pinky, what have you done? I sent your work to the princess. When she sees it, she's when she sees it, she'll be so proud. She'll. She'll think you're a super duper smarty pants. But wait, you're already a super duper smarty pants. 
Neighbors will think you're an even bigger super duper smarty pants. Or she was cut off by a tremendous rumbling sound followed by the shaking of the ground. The lavender yeah, shaking of the ground. The lavender unicorn ran ran out of the front door of the library. The sky was red and raining random items. Couches, <laughs> couches, paint cans, bed sheets, you name it. Uh, <laughs> the ground turned multicolored with weird patterns of different shapes and styles. It seemed as if a chessboard had been drawn on the ground in front of the library. Buildings were s buildings were severed from their foundations and started levitating into the air. Trees had caught on fire and a tornado was summoned up out of nowhere. Damn. That's a lot of destruction and chaos. Destruction and chaos. Huh. Destruction and chaos reigned throughout the world. Oh. When she thought that all hope was lost, a flash of yellow light appeared behind her and out of and out came and out came the Princess of Equestria. She <laughs> She wore a dead <laughs> she wore a dead pan ex she wore a dead pan facial ex I can't speak I can't. She wore a deadpan facial expression and spoke with the exasperated tone. Pinky, pinky divided by, pinky, but, pinky divided by zero, right? Twilight nod furiously. The princess sighed. Pinky, would you come out here, please? The pony in question rushed to the princess's side. Yes, princess. The sun goddess looked over the chaos. Looked over the chaotic world. You had your you had your fun, Pinky. Would you please fix the world now? Oh, wait. You had your fun, Pinky. Would you mind fixing the world now? Sure thing. <laughs> Pinky jumped outside of the invisible fourth wall. She can. Yeah. Pinky jumped outside of an invisible fourth wall. She can see where she. Uh, she can see where she just was, as if she was looking, as she was looking through a TV screen. She grabbed the frame that surrounded the realm at the ponies recited at the that the ponies recited in, and trotted over to a washing machine that was that just so happened to be placed in an infinite void. She tossed the frame into the washing machine and waited, and waited, and waited. The washing machine made a dinging sound. She grabbed the world frame and wringed it dry, and then placed it back in its original position. She jumped through the frame and returned to her world. Twilight looked as if after. Twilight looked as if Applejack had bugged, had bugged her in the jaw. Twice. <laughs> so let's just simply thank Pinky and return to Canterlot. Um, oh. Twilight, having all of her sanity gone, barely made out the words, Pinky, uh, how? The only response that was given was the only logical explanation of anything Pinky does. Silly Twilight, my Pinkie Pie. <laughs> oh, the end. <laughs> wow, that was a good story. I forgot about that. So yeah, that was uh, Pinkie Pie Divides by Zero. Link will be in the description below. Um, I'm gonna probably look around and probably do stuff or something or just procrastinate or something for the rest of the day. Next week's going to be insane. See you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon or wherever you are in the world or country or state. And I'll see you guys in the next fan fiction reading. Yeah.